Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this video, I will draw this 3D object in AutoCAD according to this given dimension. Let's start. So, first, I will make this line. The length is given 120 mm in front view. Click on top and change it to front view of this grid mode. Now, zoom out from mouse wheel. Click on line. Click make a horizontal line of 120 mm. Press escape. Now this diameter is given 32 mm. It means that the radius becomes 16 mm. So I will offset this line by 16 mm to get this center line. Enter O for offset. Enter offset distance 16 mm. Now click on this line and click towards downward side. Press escape. Now I will draw this line. So this radius is given 40 mm and this radius is 16 mm. If we subtract 16 from 40 mm, it becomes 24 mm. So this line will be of 24 mm distance. Enter L for line. Now click on this point. Make a vertical line of 24 mm distance. This length is also given 40 mm. Make a horizontal line of 40 mm. Now I will make this line. So this radius is given 55 mm and this radius is 40 mm. If we subtract 40 from 55, so this line becomes 15 mm of distance. Enter 15 mm upward distance. Now this length is also given 38 mm. Now I will run this line. So this radius is 70 mm. And this radius is 55 mm. If we subtract 55 from 70, this line becomes 15 mm of distance. Enter 15 mm upward distance. Now this length is also given 38 mm. Make a horizontal line of 38 mm. Now I will draw this line. So this radius is 85 mm and this radius is 70 mm. If we subtract 70 from 85, it becomes 15 mm. Make a vertical line of 15 mm. Now this length is also given 38 mm. Make a horizontal line of 38 mm. This is cap. Now I will draw this line. This line. So this radius is given 30 mm. And this radius is 16 mm. If we subtract 16 from 30, it becomes 14 mm. So this line will be a 14 mm distance. And this total distance is given 120 mm. This distance 40 plus 6, it becomes 46. If we subtract 46 from 120 mm, it becomes 74. So this line will be of 74 mm distance. Enter L for line. Now click on this point. Make a vertical line of 14 mm distance. Now make a horizontal line of 74 mm distance. Press escape. Now this width is given 6 mm and this width is also 6 mm. It means the whole width of this object is 6 mm of this portion and this portion. Enter O for offset. Enter offset distance 6 mm. Now click on this line towards downward side. This line towards this side. Escape. Press TR. Double enter. Trim this line, this line and all these lines. Press escape. Now click on this line and stretch this line towards this point. Now click on this line and also stretch this line to the end point of this line. Also stretching these lines. Now enter L4 line and joining these two lines. Now select this portion and enter J for join to make this portion join. Now this whole dimension is also given the diameter is 10 mm and from this point this distance is given to the center of this hole 28 mm. Let's right click on line then from this point track a distance of 28 mm and make a line of any length vertically escape now click on circle arrow center diameter and make a circle of 10 mm diameter 
now click on 2d wireframe click on shades of gray now click on front click on sw asymmetric now click on extrude arrow click on revolve now select this portion enter specify axis so this is the axis center line click on this point and click on this point enter revolve degree 360 now again click on this arrow now click on sweep click on this circle enter now select sweep path so this line is the sweep path click on this line select this line now I will subtract this portion from this portion to make hull in this part so click on subtract solid subtract now click on this enter now select this portion and enter so this part is exactly made according to the given figure now I will cut this object to see the internal features so for this I will cut it by 90 degree like this figure so click on custom view click on left click on line from this center point make a vertical line of any length which passes from this figure escape now again click on line from this center point to make a horizontal line of any length which passes from this figure escape now select this line and select this line and join it enter j4 join now orbit it escape now click on press pull and press pull this line towards this point escape now enter SL for slice from the keyboard now click on this object select this object and enter now click on surface select this surface now I will click on this portion so this portion will remains and this portion will be erased if I click on this portion then this portion will be deleted so I click on this portion so this portion is deleted now select this surface and erase it now click on this object and move towards this side escape now select this 2d and erase it so this is exactly made according to the given dimension